But she did throw up the Rock Nation sign at the end. Yeah. And apparently NFL didn't uh, televise that. Welcome back to the Controlled Sounds Podcast, episode 18. Thank you all for tuning in. I am Steven. I'm Chris. Let's just talk about some of the new music that released last week. Nav released a single, Lately. Central C released Me and You. Lizzo released a song named Special, featuring SZA. Jason Derulo and David Guetta released Saturday and Sunday, which is a single. Uh, the Kid Leroy released Kids Are Growing Up, part one. Daniel Caesar released Let Me Go. Paramore released an album, This Is Why. And Luke Combs released Love You Anyway. What was uh, your favorite track from this week? Uh, the Central C song. I've been enjoying Central C. Central C's got some good music. How yeah, about you? Yeah. And I like his, like, uh, the way he samples things. Yeah, he samples old stuff and, like, he throws his little, like, what little was, spin on it. What was the, the last one that he Let sampled? Let It Go. Let It Go. I yeah. don't miss the light uh, when it's burning low. Yeah, yeah, that was a good uh, sam- uh, reiteration of that yeah. song. Um, How about you? What's your... I'm happy to see Nav back, and he uh, he released a song lately. And I mean, I'm I'm enjoying it. I, I, I always enjoyed Nav. I like Nav too. Yeah, I he, do, and I do. he was in. He's been around since yeah. what 2015, 2016? Yeah, 2015 was when that uh, back to back was released, and then and he then came he into did the game. That, uh, that one with uh, the weekend and that yeah. whole album. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The top three songs that made the most revenue last week are the same as the past three weeks. It's Flowers by Miley Cyrus, which came in at. Two hundred and thirteen thousand one hundred and forty four dollars. The next one is SZA Kill Bill, which made one hundred and forty four thousand three hundred and ten. And then the next one is Metro Boomin's Creepin featuring Twenty One Savage and The Weeknd, which made seventy three thousand nine hundred and sixty one. And I really don't see, I don't see that changing for a few. few There's nothing that's came out that really could. That's gonna top it. I mean, unless Drake's thing maybe could switch in with it, switch in with the last one. Rich Flex could switch in with the Creepin. I know Unholy is is number four. Right there. Yeah, because he and did the he Grammys. He just did the Grammys. That's thing, why. So, it, so mate, that you know what? Next it. week, because of the Super Bowl, it could be Rihanna's. Updated, it could yeah. be Rihanna. Yeah, it could be. She had, she had a big And she speaking big of stage. Rihanna's Super Bowl performance, she did an amazing job for. Oh, fantastic. For And I, found I just found out that it was offered to Taylor Swift first. Oh, and she denied it. And she denied it. So okay. I think that she's definitely going to take it for next year. Cause she probably wanted to do a full midnight's tour, and then yeah, I said then do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because and I just you know what it was, it takes away from the the tour. Well, yeah, everybody would see the performance. performance. Yeah, she probably wants to do the whole. She wants to do it tour, and then she'll do a a, yeah, and then a full performance. Rihanna really hasn't came out with anything. Well, Rihanna hasn't been in the game since anti, right or anti. That's twenty sixteen or twenty seventeen. Twenty sixteen, that's with work. It's been that long. So it's been seven years. Yeah, how fucking really? crazy. It's been that long. And and she did a great job. It's been that but long. She, she, with, the, oh, with the Super Bowl performance, she also announced her second pregnancy. I did. With, I saw that, yes. With, and it, and, it's, and it was amazing how long she, a, a performance she did. Being for, pregnant, yeah, like that, yeah. And it was cool to see how the the, the production in, in the performance, because yeah. she was hung up on those, uh, those floating stages, yeah. and then she had the backup dancers. And I mean, I'm surprised she also didn't have any celebrity guests, like Kanye or Drake. Yeah, I I'm surprised it was what Jay Z didn't come up because she did. I mean, not Drake. That's what I meant to say. Not, no, uh, Drake could have came out for one. Of, she's in a couple of a lot of songs. Yeah, but she's not. I don't think they're not. They're terms. not cool like that. I meant but to I'm say surprised Jay Z didn't come out or Kanye. She did run this town. Yeah, that's and what I'm Jay-Z saying. Jay Z and and and. Uh, Kanye on that, and she did something else. I think with the both of them on it. Yeah, run this town, and then and all else. the lights. Yeah, all of the lights. That with, that is Jay Z too. No, no, it has just Kanye. Yeah. Oh, okay. But she also played a bunch of her solo hits. Yeah. Like she could have had Chris Brown come out for Umbrella. It would no, that would have been crazy. Chris Brown's not an Umbrella. Uh, Jay Z's not an Umbrella. What's the song with? Uh... I don't think they, I don't know if they have a song. They might have a song. I don't. I don't. I can't remember the name. They of don't it. have a song. I think they do have a song, but I can't remember the name of it. I think you might be thinking of that Chris Brown. Uh, I th- for some reason I just got uh, Umbrella confused. Jay Z is Jay Z. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised Jay Z didn't come out. He had Umbrella. He had Run This Town. He, he had, had a, he had a, a lot couple of performances man. that he could have. 
Even when, he, he never came come, out he, for he, his he wife. He never came out for his wife. So, I don't so think I, would, why would he come out for? But she did throw up the Rock Nation sign at the end. Dude. And apparently NFL didn't uh, televise that. Like at oh, the really? end of the, the performance. Really? Um, well, with this thing, right? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah the, I don't really like that thing. But. Did you see that Playboy Cardi unfortunately got arrested on aggravated assault? Yes, I did see that. I uh, That's unfortunate for him. And then speaking of like trials and everything, the judge just granted the disposition of Drake in the XXX Tentacion murder trial. Yeah, I did see that too. I, listen... I mean, I don't, I don't see how those attorneys were bringing that up. As, yeah, as, I don't know. At least any fucking light to stand on. Yeah. It, it, that that. Listen, they could, they had a beef. They listen, did have a beef. Migos, Migos beat them up in L. Listen, I no, get it. Listen, there were a lot of things that were correlated, but you could correlate a lot of things. That's what I'm saying. You like there's, there's a lot of coincidences, and then. You, you think X had a lot of problems? Yeah. He he got knocked out on stage. He got beat. He he got beat up by the Migos yeah. in, in twenty sixteen. Steven, also, you have to think about it. If you're bringing a duffel bag of cash, yeah, and to a plate, poor young men, they don't know. They don't know nothing. They they think that they think that's, that's a come That's up. the world. They think yeah. that's the world. Fifty grand, fifty grand ain't gonna get you too far, especially when you fucking murder somebody. Crazy. They were bound to to get arrested. Yeah. They, they Did were, you see uh, the Ice Spice uh, picture that's going viral right now? Apparently. Uh, she looked. She looked completely. Ah, uh, nothing like she does now. She, pull, you pull it up. Uh. This is her, Isis Gaston. This is her yearbook photo. That's crazy. You know who she kind of looks like. She does not look like Ice Spice. No, you know who she kind of looks like right there. Um, Lauren London. Yes, Nipsey Hussle's uh, wife. Yeah. Yep. I was just about a to little say bit she like, looks like Nipsey right? Hussle's wife. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like actually like really very similar. But now she don't look like that. Oh no, she's she's a different t- style of hair now and stuff. Different style of hair, different whole, different aura about herself. Yeah, she looked like a whole different person. Yeah, Sleepy Hollow was just released from prison. Awesome, I love. Sleepy I love Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. He so fucking, we needed him back. We needed yeah. Sleepy Hollow. Now back. we just need Chef G back. Yeah, and we got. And then we'll get. Uh, what is it? Uh, Winter Circle Entertainment. Mm-hmm. We get the whole crew back. Eli Frost. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chef G. Sleepy Hollow. Great John on the beat. Yup. Everybody. We'll get everybody back. That's, that's all, all we need. All right. I want. I just want to show you some of our polls we have on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm signed into a different account. So I just want to see if we guess what our uh, yeah, I got fan base or community uh, voted for. So the first one is, which, of, which one of these albums... Is your favorite of 2022? It's only me, Heroes and Villains, I Never Liked You, and Her Loss. I'd probably say Her Loss or I Never Liked You. Maybe it could be Heroes and Villains, but I feel like it's I Never Liked You. I think it's you. Heroes and Villains. It could be Her Loss. I feel like It's Only Me was very forgettable. I Never Liked You it was nominated for a Grammy, and yeah, I think yeah. it's one of, it was one of the best. I'd be albums. very surprised if it was Little Baby's one. Yeah, I, I would be very, too. Because be that's not surprised. his best work. Nah. That's. Oh, wow. Wow, her loss. Wow. Blowout. All right. Which one of these is your favorite album of 2022? Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, Dawn FM, The Forever Story, or Gemini Rights? I'd probably say Dawn FM because the, the weekend's so big. Or it's Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. I, feel like yeah, I think no are... matter what, they'll say Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, but I would say The Forever Story. Yeah, The Forever Story was good, too, but he's just he's not... Yeah. 58%. Jesus Christ Almighty! That the album wasn't even that good. All right, which one of these is your favorite album of 2022? This is all females. Beyonce, Megan The Stallion, uh, Beyonce's Renaissance, Megan The Stallion's Traumazine, Traumazine, right? That's how you pronounce yeah, yeah, it. Traumazine, yeah, Traumazine. Midnight's by Taylor Swift and SOS by uh, SZA. I'd probably say Midnight's by Taylor Swift, but I'm gonna say because it's so recent, it might be SOS. Uh, yeah, due to our fan base, it's probably SOS. Yeah, but it yeah, could yeah. be Midnight's, right? It could be Midnight's, but I'm going to say SOS. All right, I'll say SOS. Yeah. Wow, good, good. But it's crazy that Beyonce got more votes than, than Taylor Swift. And that, that, that Taylor Swift album was pretty good. Who is your greatest of all time? And you could comment it, Father. I'd probably so, say So uh, this is Eminem. Notorious, B.I.J., Tupac, Eminem, and Jay-Z. I'm going to say Eminem. I think that this poll... 
they voted for Tupac. Personally, right. I I think any of these is the correct answer. No, any of, yeah, they're all. But I think this poll they they voted Tupac. And oh, it was pretty close. Yeah, it was close. Eminem, I mean, they'll all these people will be close. Who is your goat? Lil Wayne, Kendrick Lamar, Fifty Cent, or Drake? Kendrick Lamar. I think Come personally, back. I would think Fifty Cent. I'd probably say Fifty Cent too, but over here. A lot of people like Kendrick Lamar. Wow. Oh, Eminem. it's a little... Oh. <laughs> it's Lil Wayne. Wow, Lil Holy Wayne. Holy shit. I fucking said Eminem. Holy shit, it's Lil Wayne. Wow, that's crazy. Which is Eminem's best album of all time? Marshmallow's LP. The Eminem Show. Recovery or Encore? I'd probably say the Eminem Show. Personally. Eminem show or encore? Yeah, Not Eminem show. That's close. a song with uh, Dr. Dre and him is Batman and Robin. Who do you think the best duo in hip hop is? Twenty One and Drake, Jay Z and Kanye, Future and Drake, or Future and Lil Uzi Vert? Jay Z and Kanye was. Yeah, 100%. they probably had, yeah. They, yeah they they fucking blew them out. Yeah, although yeah, I do I mean, like Future and Lil Uzi Vert. It's pretty good one too. No, yeah, but, I mean they only have one project. That's a, together, that's a very but underrated they, one. Yeah, very underrated one, and only got five percent. Yeah, Future and Drake is a great. Oh, that's fantastic though. They're 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 like the I new school. I feel like it's a little of, early for Twenty One Savage and Drake. Though. Yeah, exactly. I think Lil Uzi Vert and Future are just as good as Twenty One. Yeah, 21 yeah, and Drake. yeah. I would say I would say so. Yeah. All right, this one is which platform do you find new music or new artists? I would say YouTube. Yeah, I'd probably say YouTube too, because those those other ones. Uh, Spotify. Spotify, really? Because uh-huh. you can't just like type in on those other ones. You can't just type in a random thing and it'll, like come up like a video. Um, which is your favorite studio album by Lil Baby? Harder than ever, my turn, or it's only me? Harder than ever. Me personally, it's harder. It has to be my turn. It's probably my turn, though. Yeah, yeah it had to be my turn. I'm surprised that one's clo- as close as it is. It's only me and. Yeah. Oh my god, bro! Because that album so this much one, better. This one harder than, than ever was... was so much better than it's only me. That that's his worst project. Which is your favorite studio album by Kodak Black? Peyton Pictures, Dying to Live, Biz Bill Israel, or uh, Back for Everything? Peyton Pictures. Yeah, has for to me, be. it's painting pictures. Has to be. Yeah, it's not even close. So, which artist do you think had the biggest breakout year? Uh, Fifty Cent, Kanye West, Eminem, or Kid Cudi? Um, I'm probably gonna say it probably was Fifty Cent, but yeah, Kid Cudi had a couple, couple big ones the year he came out though. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely Fifty Cent. Yeah, Fifty Cent in the club alone was. Yeah, in the club alone had Dragon had that whole Dragon year Orders. of two, yeah. what was it, two thousand four? In a choke three hole? or four, I don't remember. Yeah, uh, we know it. Yeah, I that, come on. Yeah, that's disrespectful. I'm sorry. Yeah, Eminem and Kanye West. Four percent on Kid Cudi. That's fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, listen, Eminem and Kanye West agree, but yo, Kid Cudi that year he, he came he out. He had a chokehold on. Uh, bro, he had the be- one of the best right. songs ever. Let us know what you think about. All these polls in the comments below, you could uh, vote for them. They're in our community tab, but uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You could dislike. We really don't give a fuck, but just make sure you keep watching videos here and you subscribe right here.